Good morning and welcome to Vermont House Judiciary Committee. And we are now considering an amendment to H183, uh, draft 2.1. And we have attorney Michelle Childs uh, to review the amendment with us. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, we're doing can the freeze everybody again. Mute? Freeze again. <laughs> oh. Good morning. Evan, can you give me permission? Mm. Oh, can you see my back? You are. Sorry. It's freezing up. And I can't blame my kids this time. So um <laughs> Okay, can you see the draft? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, so we're working off of draft 2.1, um, Representative Colburn's amendment. Um, and so I did, because uh, I wanted you to have a nice clean copy and you had seen this yesterday, just point out what the, what the changes are. Um, so if you look at the definition of incapable of consenting in such 10B, you'll see that I added the word resisting. So means the person is physically incapable of resisting, declining participation in, or communicating unwillingness to engage in the conduct at issue. So the reason why we added resisting in there is because on the second instance of amendment, remember, so the based on conversation with witnesses yesterday, um, the committee decided to eliminate uh, the, the word mentally on line four, so uh, so that qualifier of incapable of consenting. And so it was my recommendation to you that you uh, kind of don't have just a kind of a general catch all there and then physically next, um, and, but that you, and then Martin had pointed out that um, physical capability to resist uh, might get left out unintentionally. And so that's why I put the resisting in 10B and then deleted uh, subdivision 6B and 3254. So that's out. So what you have now is an A, you have a general call is, is that the person knew or reasonably known that the other person was incapable of consenting to the sexual act or lewd or lascivious conduct. Um, and then you go to uh, what will now be what, what is currently C will now be subdivision B. So knew or reasonably should have known that the other person was unaware that the sexual act or LNL conduct was being committed or, and then what you have now is the new C is the, uh, that the person knew or reasonably should have known that the person was incapable of consenting because of intoxication. And those are the only changes. More than just it's more than just intoxication though, right? Uh, well, it's this subdivision 6D relates to a uh, person was substantially impaired by alcohol, drugs, or other intoxicants. I just use the term intoxication, meaning that they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. So intoxication takes, covers drugs? Yeah, well, I just used the term intoxication. If you look at the language on line 16 and 17, you say the person was substantially impaired by alcohol, drugs, or other intoxicants. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you, Michelle. Any, any other questions? Okay. Great. So, Madam Chair. Yes. Um, so the the version that we're looking at is the two point one, uh, dated three thirty eight p.m. Michelle. Yes. Yes, that is the version. Okay. I just wanted to uh, to, to make. Uh, real sure because I needed to share it with someone and I wanted to make sure that they had the, the most accurate information. Okay. 
that, okay. that is, yes. And uh, can I see your, your hand is up, but I'm going to assume it was from, great, thank you. Okay. No, 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 it was up. I'm not Burdick. <laughs> so, um, oh. so uh, can I talk? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. So um, are we going to go back and cover ourselves with uh, some of these previous witnesses that we had um, dealing with us? You mean take more testimony in this particular amendment? Make sure, well, I guess that's a word, but just make sure they're okay with this testimony, uh, with this, with this amendment. I, I, Personally, I think they are because we. Um, this is what we came to yesterday, and we did receive testimony. Um, this is this is a, a product of the testimony that we received yesterday from our witnesses. Also, Ken, I did send it to all of those witnesses yesterday around four o'clock. So, um, I would anticipate that if they had a concern about it, they would have uh, contacted us. So, or Rory got a copy of it. He's yep. probably my main concern. He did. Yep. Okay. Th thanks, Michelle. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not seeing any other questions. So I would, um, and we can do this by a show of hands. I would entertain a uh, motion to approve um, um, or find friendly uh, draft 2.1 um, amendment of 183. Motion, find the amendment favorable. So moved. Okay, second. Seconded. Great. Okay, so by show of hands, all those in favor. Great. Uh, <laughs> all those opposed. So I'm seeing um, Ken and oh, Coach, um, you're voting in, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Coach, are you voting in opposition of the amendment? <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't like the, the hand function on this device is not as friendly as it is on some. I okay. voted in favor of the amendment. Wonderful, okay, great, thank you. So thank you very much, everybody. So. There you go, Selena, and thank you, Michelle. And um, Michelle, at some point, I'd like to um, discuss with you my email yesterday, um, last night, the, the follow-up to the amendment, just get your, get your thoughts on that. Um, so, okay, great. So at 11 o'clock, the two of you go to appropriations, right? Mm -hmm. Great, well, thank you, good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and uh, and Maxine, just reach out to me whenever it's convenient for you to chat. I'm happy to chat. I think okay. probably the phone would be better, you know, like easier. So okay, all right, sounds good. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you, everybody.